before the Attitude Era and after the Attitude Era. If everybody could write it and it was that easy, what happened? It, it would be like me, bro. It would be the equivalent of me saying, oh, yeah, bro, anybody could be a psychologist. Come on, bro. <laughs> uh, Chris tells him to lay on the couch. He makes up a bunch of silly stuff. I, I, I'm like, no, bro, I know. The thing is, even looking at the, the, the year's numbers, it's still like for 2020, you know what I mean? 900,000, 700,000, 800,000. So 600,000 sometimes. So, I mean, it's not like the t these two years are like uh, showing that there's like some type of like, okay, we're going to get a really big surge. And I'm wondering like in Tony Khan's thought bubble, if bringing all these talents, all this talent is like, you know what? Okay, maybe we'll get over 2 million this week if I bring in sting uh, again you know sting's my all-time favorite sting or big show or cm punk or daniel bryan okay we'll go get we'll get the two million after that this is worth the hundred million investment if we bring these people in but bro that's a mark talking because mm -hmm. nothing against daniel bryan i don't know daniel bryan he seems like a great individual like yeah. he really seems like a really good man right mm -hmm. so i do admire him but, bro, again, we're talking about business here. For sure. Bro, he was on SmackDown when the ratings were in the can. He sure was. So what? Okay, so he – not that it was his fault. Don't get me wrong. No. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. He, wasn't, sure. he wasn't lifting the ratings for the WWE. Yeah. Now he's going to do it here, and why Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> and, and in addition to that, Vince – there's not a lot of, I mean, like, like there's not a, a separate brand of in a, uh, or of AEW followers, right? That aren't in tune with the WWE product, you know what I mean? Yep. And if you do have a couple commenters like, well, I don't watch WWE anymore, I only watch NXT, that is a very, very small pocket of fans that don't watch in a uh, WWE, but watches AEW. Bro, I'm going to say this again, and people hate when I say this, but I'm just, I'm being honest with you, and I consider myself a casual fan, okay? Bro, CM Punk did not draw casual fans. No. The, the hardcore point. wrestling fans loved CM Punk. Mm -hmm. He's not going to bring in new fan we're not talking about the rock here bro right right <laughs> he had he had a hardcore following that loved him yeah. and all those people will tune in but i would guess the majority of them are already watching the show for sure and essentially with the goal of getting over two million fans of two million viewers consistently essentially and it's not even cm punk's fault but the expectation now, Daniel Bryan either, Brian Danielson either. It's not their fault, you know. What I mean, they're just they're right. they're accepting right. a job and getting right. money and and, and, per, and performing. Absolutely. It's not their Absolutely. fault at all. No, but no. essentially, the fans and Tony Khan are saying, "Okay, well, you know what? We've got CM Punk for you. We've got Brian Danielson for you. Consistently, those two alone, they're going to draw nine hundred thousand to a million new." viewers who are different from wwe who aren't the current view we're going to draw a million new people to consistently watch the product i just don't see that happening. Well, you That's know a lot the, of pressure you know where the sad thing is you know what to say here's the sad thing chris i i've learned this over time and and i i know you're the same way uh you know especially when it comes to running your own business running your own practice Bro, over time, you know what your strengths and your weaknesses are. And as you get older, you go more and more with the strengths and you bring in people to help you with the weaknesses because you know sure. I can't do that. You yeah. you know that. All the money he's invested in CM Punk. I, but, uh, Billy Body today said it, uh, it's official. Flair's definitely going to AEW. Wow. All this money he's spending, bro, how about this? Why not hire a television writer? Correct. Why not hire somebody? And I'm not saying me at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. The money you have, hire a writer that knows how to write 
episodic television. Yeah. That is more valuable to you, bro, than any one talent you can bring in. But because he he is a mark, nah, bro. I'm 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 going to write this. Well, you know what, bro? It looks like you're writing it because yeah. Because you have over 100 active talent right now on the WWE roster, over 100 active talent, all right? You show about 25 of those people on AEW, the Dynamite, the flagship show, Dynamite, Rampage are probably around the same 25 to 30 consistent weekly active talent. So you have 60 to 70 active talent on their YouTube programming on elevation and dark i mean dark elevation and dark i mean why are you hiring people and making and, and paying all this money and 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 draining all this funds for a youtube program you know i mean what type of i, I just don't understand it from a, again i don't understand if someone's watching this especially tony khan if you can you let me know. I'm teachable. All right. If you can I, I, let I, me I'll, know from a I'll business standpoint. I will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will explain it to you. Okay. I will explain it to you in a nutshell because, Chris, let's face it. You and I in our lifetimes, your kids in their lifetimes, my kids in my lifetimes, bro, they will never know what a billion dollars looks like. Mm -hmm. What what you're looking at, bro, is 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 a I, I want to say a man, but I, I I I stutter over that word. But what you're looking at is a man where there is no value to money. Hmm. There's no value to it, bro. So whatever it costs, and oh my God, if if Sting could work for me, oh God, I'll pay five that five million dollars for that. There's no value to it. There's no value to it, bro. So, and, and, but, but again, it's like, even if there was no value to it, I would still want to be spending the money to beat Vince McMahon and the WWE. That would be my goal. And bro, that starts with the writing of the show. You know, Chris, I always used to get so offended with this because all the, all the companies I worked for, Chris, everybody could write TV. Oh my God. Everybody could write TV. Oh yeah, bro. If everybody could write TV, then explain to me what happened before the attitude era and after the attitude era. If everybody could write it and it was that easy, what happened? It, it would be like me, bro. It would be the equivalent of me saying, oh, yeah, bro, anybody could be a psychologist. Come on, bro. <laughs> but Chris tells him to lay on the couch. He makes up a bunch of silly stuff. I, I, I'm like, no, bro. I know. Like, I could never do that. In wrestling, everybody can write a wrestling good show, point. which good may point. explain, bro, why nobody's watching anymore. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. And trust me when I say, not everybody can be a psychotherapist. <laughs> yeah, you don't have you don't have to tell me that, bro. Trust me, trust me. I, I'd be so worried. You tell them one wrong thing, and the next thing you know, they're jumping out the window. Oh yeah, I, man. I don't it's... need that on my conscience, bro. I don't need that on my conscience, man. man listen, I tell my clients all the time, and I don't. I mean, of course, I can't share it much because of HIPAA as far as specifics, but. I tell my clients all the time, like, listen, it's, I do couples therapy, too. I do individual and couples therapy and family therapy. And I tell when it comes to couples, I tell my clients all the time, don't you dare say leverage what I say outside of this office. Yeah. And say, well, Dr. Chris said, ah, yeah. nope, don't do it. Nope, 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 don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Don't try to leverage bro, something I say uh, in advantage to your spouse. Chris, do I swear to you, I do. A, I, I've been doing a Christian show. That's life for seven years now. I do it every week. It's the most important show I do. Love it. But Chris, the problem is like when I, 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 bro, after the show, I get tons of emails asking for advice. And, and I have to say, bro, like, you're asking the wrong guy for Refer advice. Refer to me, man. Refer yeah. to me. I'm, I'm, but I, I tell them that. I'm like, bro, yeah. I can't. I'm not. That's, that's not smart. what I do, bro. I, please, man. Smart. If you're going to ask anybody, ask the guy that I'm talking about. Don't yes, ask. Yes, indeed. Me. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, really, bro. So I know, like, I, I, I can't imagine, like, yeah. oof. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah man. It's uh, and, and, and to your point, it's like you got to know where your lane is. Yeah, you know what I mean, yep. and you got to stay there. <laughs> you know what I mean, and that's and that's what it's all about. So yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this guy right here. Speaking of lanes, this guy. When it comes to writing, this guy right here. I'm telling you, man, he's oh, Mr. Oh. Pat and Pen here. <laughs>